Yeah, it's going to be, you know, a challenge like it always is. You know, they're a well-coached team. They have a bunch of athletes on all three phases of the ball. And, you know, we know that they're going to bring in. We got to, you know, bring our A game as well. Is it kind of surreal to preparing for Clemson once again now that you're here with your post at, at NC State? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of ironic a little bit to see them again. But uh, like I said, they're a great team. Um, we know it's going to be a good challenge. We know that they're going to be, you know, expecting us to bring our A game as well. Um, so, you know, it's up to us to prepare during this time and make sure that we're ready to take them on. How excited are you guys to just kind of get back out there and have one more as a group? Man, really excited. Really excited. Uh, you know, I, I really enjoy everyone in the locker room, um, especially being a transfer, a new guy. You know, they embraced me, and, you know, I felt like everyone in the entire locker room created bonds that we'll cherish for the rest of our lives. So really being able to go out there and compete with my brothers one last time is really all I could ask for. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, definitely a little different. Um, but, you know, Destin and Kai, you know, they're still all love between all of us. Um, you know, it's pretty cool to see, you know, Deuce and Shane step up as well, you know, talking to Coach Cohen, communicating that anything that they need to do, whether it's in practice, game planning, you know, they're here for, you know, me and Coach Cohen, which is awesome. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we still have a job to do. We still have one more game to finish. And, you know, it's up to us to, you know, work even harder together now. When you get out of the Um, I mean, obviously coming off that last game was awesome to get a win. And like you said, being able to step away for a little bit, you have some time to reflect. And, you know, I think, you know, going into a bowl game, you know, the biggest thing is to enjoy these last moments. You know, this is my going to be my last college game as well as a ton of other guys in the locker room. And, you know, it's up to us to really just cherish the little moments, whether it's, you know, practicing, having fun with the scout team guys, talking to coaches. Um, I think the biggest thing for us is, you know, this one last ride with everyone, let's make it a special one. What was today like just getting back out there with everybody feeling ready? It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I mean, guys have been in and out of the building working out um, with Coach Ed and, you know, in and out of the training room. But it's been a little while since we've actually all been on the field. Um, so it was really good to see guys flying around and honestly just pick back up where we left off. Actually, with the guys, those of you who have draft aspirations this year, it seems like you're all playing in this game. Did you talk about that process and the, the, coming to that decision? What do you think that means? Um, honestly, we never really talked about it. Uh, I think it was really just assumed that everyone wanted to play in this bowl game, um, which shows a lot about what Coach Stoops has done here, what the culture is like here. Um, and, you know, it's really exciting to see guys that, you know, like you said, do plan on to go into the NFL. They want to get one last ride, being able to represent, you know, Kentucky and wear that blue one last time. Anything else? All right. Thank you. It did. Um, Clemson is school, you know, I bet you every kid kind of grew up watching. And it's always been a dream of mine to, like, play those schools that I did used to watch growing up. So I'm excited for this matchup. Stoops doesn't matter really anything he has to say much to Amp. You know, these guys up before the bowl game, between the end of the year and the bowl game. Sometimes you guys ever kind of get, you know, a little thin, a little nah. or Are you guys still amped? Well, when we know it's a game coming, we turned up always. We ready to play, go out there, have some fun together, you know, Play cohesively as we've been doing the whole year. Just go out there, execute, and have fun. You go through that grind all season, game after game after game. What's it like to just be able to practice and prepare for a game and have a bodies and have a chance? You know, during the season, you know, it feels long. It feels like it's a lot of practices. But, you know, you, you get like a week off to do finals and stuff. You kind of you miss it. You know, I was going through the days this past week. I'm like, dang, like, maybe I do miss putting the pads on and going out there playing. So. I was excited to get back out there today and get better with my teammates. Is it kind of just going out there doing the same thing you guys did all year, or with these few weeks to kind of take a step back, you, you think about things that you guys can do better? Uh, yeah, you know, this gives us time to watch ourselves, go over the mistakes that we made, try not to make the same ones, but also get a chance to prepare for our opponent that we have December 29th and just, you know, get better, apply what we need to apply, watch film, and continue to take that one step every day. Maybe we haven't seen a lot of 
Oh yeah, definitely. We got we got guys younger, older. Everyone's ready to step in. You know, I applaud our younger guys, like our freshmen. I say this class, they came in, they had good attitudes. They all want to get better, and they take, they, you know, they listen to us as well as the coaches. And you know, they're gonna be great going down the line. You know, we're gonna be playing a lot of younger guys in this bowl game, and I'm excited for them to show what they got to offer. Max, you're getting some All SEC recognition. Was that a preseason goal of yours? Yeah, it was. It was a goal of mine to, you know, accomplish All SEC. You know, I'm very excited that I did that. You know. I accomplished something that I did set aside, but can't stop here. Got to keep going and, you know, accomplish something bigger than this, you know, coming up. Not your side of the ball, but Ray kind of changed his mind and decided to play in this game. Did that boost up every, everybody on the team a little bit? Oh, yeah, you know, love to play with Ray one more game. I'm very excited for what he's going to go out there and do. You know, it's a, it's a tough decision when you're in that position, but I think he made the right decision, and I'm excited. Get one more with him. You know, guys, I, you know, get that all SEC recognition, like any recognition. You know, sometimes you get some phone calls. You know, but, but you, how how comfortable and happy are you here in the program? Um, you know, you decided to stay. I'm very happy, comfortable here. You know, like I said, I chose coming here after or out of high school, so this is the place I want to be. And I'm, you know, I'm glad I had a good season with my teammates. That I'm getting closer with my brothers, and that we continue to get better together. But yeah, I'm happy here, man. I love it here. Snoop said that uh, that A and M night. That surrounding it and say you got a call from the big fella you know and, and made sure to make him yeah. know that he was staying how happy were you to you know learn that he was going to stay here I was very happy you know very happy and I kind of made my night so it was all good worked out in the end nothing bad happened Stoops is staying so that's all that matters was that a weird night for you uh, at first it kind of caught me off guard but you know rumors is rumors so you don't look into that you ask the source and coach Stoops let us know that he was staying so that's all that matters Ooh, that was so fun. You know, that was my first time playing there, being there. So I had a great time, you know, trap takeover. Had to show them who ran the state. So we was having a party in their locker room after. You know, that's how you got to do it. I know your DP room is tight. What did you feel through, you know, having DP made this big announcement? Just happy for him. Oh, you know, the whole group, we all happy for Drew. You know, Drew, he was our leader of the group, you know, one of the older guys. He showed us the way. We just going to follow him through his success, ask questions, of course, and just cheer him on. Yeah, I feel like, you know, Drew, he's done a good job at, you know, mentoring all of us, keeping us together. And I feel like, you know, he, he set the stage a little bit for us, and we just got to go off of that, continue to build. Very good. Cool, appreciate y'all.